Are you looking for the best toys to keep your puppy busy and out of trouble? Puppies love to explore the world with their mouth. And before they explore your couch or your shoes, you should be prepared with the best toys for your puppy based on their age and chew style. Before we begin, for the best puppy training tips and tricks, subscribe to the channel and be sure to hit the bell to stay notified when I post new content each week. Michelle here with How to Train a Dream Dog and the creator of 30 Days to Puppy Perfection, the online puppy training program where you can train your puppy from the comfort of home. Now, we are headed to our local pet supply store and grooming shop to take a peek at what toys you should have on your list. Let's get going. All right, we've made it to Healthy Choice Pet Supply. So we are gonna talk about some of my favorite toys that you should be getting your, for your puppy to keep them busy and out of trouble. So the first thing I always talk about are our busy toys or our enrichment toys. These are the kind that are like our puzzle toys where you have to put their kibble or treats inside and your puppy has to figure out how to paw it, wiggle it, push it, move it around to get the kibble out. These are really good and tend to keep them occupied for longer periods of time. So this would be a really good toy to invest in. Then we have toys where you can stuff uh, treats and kibble inside like the tire toy and there's different sizes for different sized dogs as well. All right, we have those. Oh, this is a really fun one. This is an activity ball and it has inside, you can see the treats can go in here um, and it does come apart, you'd unscrew it, comes apart, you put your kibble in there, and it does have an adjuster so that you can adjust how much or how fast the kibbles come out, or the pieces of treat or kibble. All right, some of my other favorite toys are things like the chuck it ball. This is really good if you're playing fetch with your puppy. You've got the ball, you've got the tosser, and you've got some of the refills that you can grab over here as well. Different sizes for different sized dogs as well. We want to make sure we get the right size ball for our dog so that they don't choke. We, you know, that means that you want to get a ball that's a little bit bigger for their mouth. Um, they can still grab onto it, but it can't go down their throat and cut off their air circulation. Okay, so we have toys like this, our balls. Then we have all of our soft, squishy toys. So if you have a puppy that absolutely loves to chew and tear things apart and find the squeaker, might not be the best choice for your puppy. Ultimately, it's not gonna last very long. Um, they're gonna tear it apart. It could be something that they ingest and cause a blockage in their tummy, which needs to be surgically removed. We don't want that to happen. You're probably gonna find toys for your puppy that are harder to chew on, like Nyla bones. All right, these are really good. Or even the Benna bones. The Benna bones are really good for puppies that like to chew. And Kong. Kongs are absolutely one of my favorite toys for puppies. We can fill them with fillers, and you can check out my other video on Kong filler recipes for more information. Um, but we can really fill these and keep them busy uh, with all sorts of good stuff in there. And they have to work hard to get it out. This is a really good busy toy. It's also a really good teething toy if you have a puppy that has sore gums. All right, what else do we have here? Oh, Kong makes some really good products like these. These are the uh, Air Dog. This is the hard, um, the hard bone. It makes some noise for you guys that can handle the squeakers. <laughs> All right, so it makes some noise. It's a harder toy. This is really good for those dogs that are tough on their toys. I love these kinds of balls right here that your puppy can toss around and carry in their mouth, right? It's a nice harder plastic, um, probably a good outside toy so that they don't break a lamp inside. You can get toys like these that are bumpers that float. So if your dog absolutely loves to swim, you can grab a toy like this. It's bright for them. You know, they can see it. Um, they can hold on to it. They can tug if they needed to. Um, but these are really good. This is also made by Kong. Jolly balls. I love jolly balls. Jolly balls are excellent because they have a way for your puppy to hold on with their mouth. They can toss it around and these are really hard rubber plastic as well. So uh, make sure you get one that's appropriate size for your puppy. There are different sizes. And you got one like this that has the rope on it. You can see different sizes here. <clears throat> now if you're going to get your puppy a Frisbee, you're going to probably want to get one that has, uh, you know, the 
ease of them to be able to pick it up. So if you go and toss this one, if you get a regular Frisbee that's flat on the ground, it's really hard for them to pick it up. They get really frustrated. So a Frisbee like this by Starmark um, has the little edge on it that they can actually pick up with their mouth. So that would be a really good toy for them, a really good Frisbee. All right, we talked about balls already. We wanna make sure we get a really big ball for a bigger dog. Uh, and then that means we also don't want to get the little balls for the big dog because these are choking hazards. So, now, when you're trying to pick out a toy for your puppy, we want to make sure that we inspect our toys thoroughly. So you get your, you, you're in the store, you're trying to pick out your toy. I want you to feel it. I want you to hold it in your hands. I want you to kind of give it a little, give it a little tug. See if it's something that's going to be sturdy. It's so common for us to see super cute toys, bring them home, and they get destroyed in two seconds. So I don't want that to happen because that could become, again, a choking hazard for your puppy. So the harder material, check the seams on your puppy's toys. Uh, even after they've been playing for them for a while, you know, with them for a while, you're going to want to check the seams on them just to make sure they're not broken down too much where either the stuffing comes out or the plastic squeaker comes out. Uh, and again, could be a choking hazard. So make sure you check your toys and like I say, invest in good products. Invest in things that are going to last. It's okay to buy your puppy a cute toy as long as it's going to be safe and last a while. If you're going to find toys that um, are easily destroyed in just a matter of minutes, then it's probably not a good toy for your puppy to have. So as you can see, we have all sorts of fun stuff here. This is a Kong Wubba. Kong Wubbas are great because they have this extra, you know, you could, you could be tugging on one end and they could hold the other end. It's got a squeaker inside. So this would be a really good toy for your puppy to have. This toy here would be pretty cool. This one has a squeaker in it, as well as this little hole that you could probably put some kibble, some peanut butter, um, some of the Kong filler right here could have Kong filler. You, know, you could fill that inside the Kong or you could put it in a toy like this. I like to find toys that have multi-purpose, meaning they're going to either play with it, whether I'm tossing it, or they could be used as like that canine enrichment game or an activity where your, your puppy has to work to get something out of it, um, roll it around, bat at it, paw at it, nose at it, try to get, get something out of it. So those are good. They keep them busy. Um, they tend to last longer as well. So again, when you're picking out toys for your puppy, make sure you make good investments, number one. You pick stuff that isn't going to be pulled apart or ripped apart in a matter of seconds. And it's something that keeps your puppy busy for an extended period of time. All right, I hope you enjoyed that field trip. If you're looking for training tips and tricks, be sure to join my Facebook group, Puppy Training with Michelle Lennon. And if you're looking for more information on teaching your dog new skills and getting them to perform no matter what distractions are going on all around them, make sure to check out 30 Days to Puppy Perfection. I put a link in the comments below for you. And make sure to subscribe to this channel. Don't forget, grab the new puppy starter kit and remember the link is below. If you like this video, please let me know by hitting the like button and share it with another new puppy owner.